Welcome back. The Lethbridge Bulls were riding high entering Monday night after a two-game Canada Day sweep over the Edmonton Prospects, but maybe a little too high. The Okotoks Dogs handed the Bulls reality check in a big way, riding a four-run first inning to a 10-1 win at Seaman Stadium. Chris Walker threw four innings for the Bulls, giving up eight runs on nine hits. The Bulls have today off. They're back in action on Wednesday in Medicine Hat. From the NHL, defenseman Bryce Salvador, a key player in New Jersey's run to the Stanley Cup Finals, we signed with the Devils today. The 36-year-old, who is a former member of the Lethbridge Hurricanes, had four goals and 14 points in the postseason after a regular season in which he failed to find the net once. He received a three-year deal worth $9.5 million. The CFL announced the Players of the Week today after the opening week of the season. Saskatchewan Rough Riders quarterback Darian Durant and Calgary Stampeder running back John Cornish among the players to earn the honors. Cornish was a key contributor in the Stampeders' 38-10 win over the Montreal Alouettes, rushing for 86 yards and two touchdowns on 18 carries. The native of British Columbia also had three receptions for 28 yards. Durant completed 25 of 34 passes for 390 yards and four touchdowns in the Rough Riders' 43-16 win over the Hamilton Tiger Cats. Durant also added to the Riders' offense by running five times for a total of 33 yards. Durant earned the award for offense and Cornish was named top Canadian while J.C. Sherritt of the Edmonton Eskimos was the best defensive player and his teammate kicker Grant Shaw earned special teams honors. Later this month, athletes around the world will be competing for the top spot on the podium, but there may be a less or maybe less rather of a difference between first and second than many people think. <laughs> That's because the gold medals are actually the same weight as the silver ones, with only six grams of gold mixed in. The company making them says using pure gold is just too expensive, naturally. The Royal Mint says it won the contract to make the medals against dozens of other companies. And the Canadian Olympic Committee and Canada Basketball announced the women's national team roster that will compete in London 2012. Team Canada secured the final Olympic berth after defeating Japan 71-63 at the Women's Olympic Qualifying Tournament in Turkey. The women's national team last competed at the Games in Sydney in 2000 where they finished in 10th place. For nine-year veteran Kim Smith of Mission BC, it's been well worth the wait. For women's basketball, it's been a long time coming. It's been 12 years and there's been a lot of heartbreak. But it's all worth it now, it feels like. We qualified for the Olympics on Canada Day. Life does not get any cooler than that, I'm convinced. There have been 229 athletes nominated to the Canadian Olympic team to date. Olympic Alert brought to you by McDonald's, official restaurant of the London 2012 Olympic Games. In a battle of the last two Wimbledon champions, four-time winner Serena Williams took out defending champ Petra Kvitova to reach the semifinals at the championships. The six-seeded Williams doused the number four seed Kvitova in a 6-3, 7-5 fashion under the roof on center court at the All England Long Tennis Club. The 30-year-old Williams owns 13 major titles, including four at Wimbledon, where she's also a two-time runner-up. The powerful American will appear in her eighth Wimbledon semifinal on Thursday. And there is your look at sports, Jack. Now, I know your voice is a bit sore today. A little raspy, yes. Um, can you whistle, though? Can you Not whistle the Andy Griffiths? No. Theme song. I've heard no. that so many times today because of the <laughs> Lord. Of course, unfortunately, we lost Andy Griffiths. More on his life when we come back.